Hi guys and welcome to OFDM MIMO. What I want to do in this uh, short introduction uh, video is actually split into three parts. I want to tell you a little bit about myself and in other words why I think it's a good idea that you learn OFDM MIMO specifically together with me. The second is maybe uh, easier is why I learn OFDM MIMO and in 2019 this is a very easy task to explain. This is like the most fundamental building blocks of wireless communication. Uh, and the third one, third part, would be uh, like a quick uh, introduction to the course uh, outline and uh, topics, and I will try to pinpoint the points that I believe are uh, important. So a little about me. So uh, until uh, 2008, I was a CTO of Rancom Technologies. This was a startup, but a very important player in YMAX technology, and actually, uh, OFDMA technology that we're going to discuss in much detail in this course and is also very fundamental in wireless communication today was invented uh, uh, at Rancom uh, Technologies. So uh, I was responsible also from a technical point of view to the first OFDMA MIMO chipset in the world. This was YMAX uh, Wave 2. Then uh, after I fell in love with uh, MIMO, I kick-started my own uh, company working specifically on MIMO detection and uh, and uh, design working with the uh, tier one uh, vendors. And since uh, 2012, I'm CDO Wi Fi at Huawei's Tel Aviv Research Center, uh, uh, working on maybe the most extensive uh, uh, topic like uh, MIMO or DMA. We're working on uh, Wi Fi chipsets, we're working on next generation uh, Wi Fi standardization. So I think now we have a very holistic. Uh, view from a, a technology uh, point of view. What's most important, and I think that you can maybe uh, understand from this uh, uh, quick introduction, is that uh, my hands are very, very dirty in OFDM and MIMO. And when I mean uh, dirty hands, is that I'm not going to teach you something that I read uh, in some paper or some book or done some uh, brief uh, research at the university. I'm going to teach you something that I've been working on very, very hard for the last uh, 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 maybe uh, 13, 14 years. Something that I was struggling on, that I failed on, I succeeded. I saw implementation, I made money of. So all these things, the hands are very dirty and I think that if you learn some, with, from somebody who has a lot of uh, explicit and practical experience, uh, this makes all the difference. But also, my hands are very dirty in teaching OFDM MIMO. And I've been giving uh, an OFDM uh, MIMO course at Tel Aviv University, a graduate level course. For the last 12 years, I have already over a thousand graduates from my, my course working at all of the important companies in the wireless domain. Qualcomm, Broadcom, Intel, Apple, and of course, and of course, uh, Huawei. So dirty hands also in teaching uh, with the MIMO. So why learn? So again, today this is a very simple task. But when I started specifically, I started teaching uh, OFDM MIMO at the university. Professors were very skeptical. They thought that OFDM, uh, both OFDM and MIMO, are like fashions that uh, may fade away the same way that uh, uh, they emerge. Uh, but I believed. So today it's quite uh, different. It's quite clear that OFDM and MIMO are the most important building blocks of modern wireless communication. For example, in Wi Fi uh, 11G, N, AC, AX, EHT, what is currently being denoted as uh, 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 BE, all of these guys are uh, OFDM MIMO and OFDMA. So essentially, G is OFDM, from N and on we're also with MIMO, and actually from 11AX and on we're also OFDMA. In cellular, it is even more uh, uh, profound. The late WiMAX that was pre-4G came before LT, OFDMA, MIMO, LT, LT Advanced, LT Advanced Pro, 5G, 5G New Radio, all these guys are based on OFDMA and MIMO. So if you think it's only wireless, not exactly, also wireline communication. So technologies like VDSL, G.Fast, powerline communication, all these guys are using OFDM, OFDMA uh, MIMO. So from my perspective, any engineer that wants to play a major role in modern wireless communication, in standardization, in making chipsets, in working on the most advanced uh, uh, topics and standards, and of course also research, must have a very strong, a very solid grasp 
of OFDM and uh, MIMO, and this is exactly what we're going to do in this course. So you know, there's a lot of uh, overview courses about uh, OFDM and MIMO, but this is, course is a little different. This course is like an in-depth uh, course. Not an overview. We're going to divide the course into three parts. The first part is going to focus mostly on MIMO. We'll start with SISO, just single transmit antenna and a single reception antenna, just to you know uh, align ourselves with the fundamentals. And then we're going to move to receiver diversity, transmit with one antenna and receive with multiple, and then reverse. I'm going to show you already in the in the beginning of our discussion, in the lecture number two, a lot of the beauty of MIMO already manifested in the most simple scheme, like a maximal ratio combining MRC, which corresponds to receiver diversity. Again, then we will uh, flip it, move to transmitter diversity, STC. We'll move to uh, more advanced topics, assuming the less natural assumption of channel knowledge of the transmitter. I'm going to show you that equipped with channel knowledge of the transmitter, a MIMO transmitter can actually track a mobile device and transmit in a beam-formed fashion directly to this, to this device and also on top of increasing SNR, also avoid uh, radiation to the other uh, uh, receivers. Then we're going to move to what is denoted by many as a jargon as MIMO, and this is spatial multiplexing, transmission from multiple TX antenna is reception with multiple RX antenna. This allows explicit increase in the rate, and this is maybe the greatest revolution uh, that MIMO in phase one uh, uh, allows, and then we will move to a more advanced topic like uh, multi-user MIMO, and something that for me is very important, which is interference mitigation and now steering, that is uh, um, quite unique. I'm going to show you the method in which we're going to be able to combat very strong interference, almost null it out altogether using uh, uh, MIMO advanced MIMO techniques. So this would be part one. The second part, the second part, uh, we're going to have two lectures working and discussing the wireless channel. And I can tell you that uh, the older I get, the more I'm mature I become as an engineer, and as you can see already, uh, uh, quite mature, the better I understand the importance of understanding the wireless channel, understanding like what makes it tick, the characteristics, in order to exploit these specific characteristics and optimize the, uh, the communication system. So actually I'm going to build this uh, out of uh, two sections. The first, like a relatively uh, um, classical presentation of the wireless channel. I'm going to focus a lot on, uh, uh, of course, the richest of all phenomena, which is a uh, uh, multipath. And then I'm going to move uh, to the MIMO channel, and I'm going to give uh, what I think is a quite unique representation of the MIMO channel. I'm going to focus on some of these things that I think even uh, uh, senior guys, senior algorithm guys in our community are not uh, sufficiently well uh, um, knowledgeable, knowledgeable about. Then we're going to move, after we have a very uh, solid grasp of MIMO and the wireless channel, we're going to move to the third part, which is uh, OFDM and its uh, uh, variants, OFDMA, the multiple access of, uh, uh, version of OFDM, single carrier FDMA, which is the uplink uh, of LTE. I'm going to uh, start with uh, maybe classical representation, but then I'm going to have a very, I think, unique uh, lecture about OFDM. I'm going to highlight OFDM from a totally uh, uh, different perspective, and again, I'm going to demystify some of the uh, um, um, topics that uh, I think uh, require some in-depth uh, uh, understanding. Actually, the second lecture of OFDM, I think, would be uh, the most important, and the one that would provide maximal tools for you guys in order to master this, you know, uh, uh, in real life. In the end, I'm going to like uh, uh, wrap it all together. I'm going to discuss like the intimate uh, interaction between MIMO that we started working on at, uh, at the first part and OFDM. I'm going to show to you why the fusion 
between OFDM and MIMO is such a strong marriage that is actually the backbone of all the modern uh, communication systems. So uh, we'll have like a philosophical explanation, but also a very detailed uh, uh, explanation. So, so this course, this course is, uh, as I said, it's not an overview course, it's an in-depth course, and I'm going to use uh, a lot of uh, mathematics in order to uh, explain my uh, ideas. Essentially, we're going to use a lot of uh, linear algebra, probability, and uh, uh, also we're going to use a lot of uh, Fourier uh, theory. So this can be viewed, I think, in two different ways. One of them, if you already have the prerequisites, you know linear algebra, probability, and Fourier very well, this is excellent. You can, like, you know, um, the lectures would be very crisp for you. The other way to look at it is that this course, and my experience shows that for many of my students, this course is like a vehicle in order to improve proficiency in all of these uh, uh, topics. So it's quite self-contained. I'm not going to require uh, you to, uh, uh, you know, open uh, books. It's quite self-contained, and I think it can uh, help a lot in order to improve the mathematical proficiency uh, where needed. Each one of the lectures will end with a, with a MATLAB exercise. I'm a, a very strong believer in filling everything with your uh, fingertips. So I want you to simulate, I want you to fail on that, I want you to succeed, I want you to correct your errors. And using the, uh, the MATLAB exercises in this course, I think is going to provide an additional layer of, uh, of knowledge. So guys, let me turn you into real wireless experts and join me in OFDM IMO.